I've made AI thumbnails for months and they get thousands of views without having to take a picture of myself. I just generate an image, put my face on it and YouTube loves it. So I'll show you how I do this without ever needing to pose for the camera again, which tools I use so anybody can do this for free the master prompts I use so you don't need any previous experience. Just follow these four simple steps because you'll be able to make some amazing thumbnails and get more views. But I'm gonna save one secret tip to the end of this video that matters a lot if you want people to click your video. So let's get started with step number one, generate an image. I use ChatGPT4 for this, but you can use free alternatives like cgdream.ai or Leonardo AI. And the prompt that I use is my favorite prompting technique, object plus background. This is important because you want to first describe the object that we're gonna use, which is gonna be a replica of how I look like. And then we describe what's going on in the background. So first I'll write Norwegian man with hair in a bun. And then I'll describe what I'm doing with my arms, with hands facing palms up to his side. Then I'll start describing what is going on above my hands, which is more contextual. Two logos are floating above his hands. Then I'll do the background, background, white, gradient, blurry, and I'll add the aspect ratio, horizontal, post. And the first thing that you'll probably notice is that the first one won't be the best. As you can see, it's not the best. So I basically just click on edit message. I click on send again. You can see it's facing away from the camera. So something I like to do is Norwegian man looking into the camera, send again, not exactly what we're looking for. I'll change the prompt a little bit, send again. It's getting even worse. And we're just gonna keep trying because as you can see, each result is very different. There we go, that's looking a lot better and something I might actually be able to use, but I'm just gonna keep going to give me more results. So I'll do the exact same prompt send it again just to making sure to download it as well by clicking here this one is not so good so we'll try again this one could work but i still don't like it send again i actually love sitting here and waiting for it to load it feels like i'm gambling and i might get something no Pull that slot machine again. Yeah, this might be doable. Keep going. Okay, I actually quite like this one. So now we got three examples. Here's the first one, second one, and the third one. And it's important to think about it like a YouTube thumbnail. Which one is grabbing your attention the most? I think I like this one the most. But look at these sausage fingers. Damn. <laughs> I think I like this one the most. So then... We're gonna go to step number two, face swap. Just search for Insight Face Swap on Google and go to the first link. Click on view on GitHub. And don't worry, this is super simple. We're just gonna scroll a bit down until we see license. And you can even just do control F and discord here where you need to click on this link here called web demos slash swapping discord. Then just click on this discord link and then add it to your own server. If you don't have a server on Discord, just go to the bottom left of Discord and click on add a server. Click on create my own for a community or club, make a server name and then click on create. Now that you have it, you need to make sure that the inside face swap bot is on the right side when you click on the members icon. If you have this, you've done amazing so far. Now we're gonna train it on your image. So we're gonna write slash save idea just like this. I'm gonna do ND7 and then I'm gonna drop a file of my fate. This one will definitely do the job. Actually, I'll use this one, but I'll just take a screenshot of my head and drag it in here. Now click on enter and you'll see ID name ND7 created. Now, write swap ID, enter, drag the photo that we liked in here and write the ID name and the seven. We face swapped the image. Pretty cool, right? I have many like Andy six as well. So I'm gonna try to do it on that one to see if it's a better result. 
I highly recommend training it on different images because as you'll see, I actually like this one a little bit better, but I also want to check out this last one with the massive sausage fingers and I still like number one better. So I'm just going to click on open in browser, right click, save image as and download. Now, if you want him to smile, which I definitely recommend, stay tuned to the last step. But if you're liking the video so far, drop a comment down below. Also, I'm looking for a small group of people that want to implement AI tools into their business. If you're a content creator or you have an info business looking to save time in your workflow, there's currently just a wait list because I only want qualified people by using AI tools, automations, and agents. So if that's you, click the description down below. But now let's go to step number three, make the thumbnail. I use Photoshop, but I promised to show you how to do it for free. Hack your YouTube growth in 2024. Most creators have a hard time coming up with great ideas, titles, and scripting their video, but even uploading with the right description and tags so their videos never get seen. But let me show you how to solve that in a few steps with AI. Step number one, just go to Tube Magic, And as you can see, they have this ideate and research. Just click on this video ideas tab. This generates a viral video idea based on any channel name. So let's write Mr. Beast and generate. I survived 24 hours in a haunted amusement park. Sounds a lot like Mr beast let's see another one last to leave shark tank wins five hundred thousand dollars might be some legal implications there escape the world's largest human maze to win one million dollars that sounds exactly like a mr beast video then we go to step number two just click on this generate script button where you can select between all these five different templates i'm gonna do general script and select about 1500 words because that's around 10 minute long and generate as you can see it's just writing an entire script for us step number three let's read it and see if it's good. One of the first challenges the participant encounter a maze within a maze where the walls shift and path changed with ease passing moment. Navigating this ever-changing labyrinth requires quick thoughts and adaptability separating the strategic thinkers from the rest. As they race against the clock, tension runs high as alliances are formed and broken in the blink of an eye. Am I watching a Mr. Beast video right now? But once you filmed it, you need to upload it correctly. So go to step number four, which is to click on this warp upload button. Just copy paste your context because you get three different titles, an entire video description, including tags, so your video doesn't get buried in the YouTube algorithm. Therefore, head to TubeMagic by clicking the link in the description down below. Thanks to TubeMagic for sponsoring this section of the video. But now, let's go to step number three, make the thumbnail. I use Photoshop, but I promised to show you how to do it for free. So a tool that I used for over a year is called photop.com. That is basically a Photoshop clone. And if you don't have any Photoshop experience, just follow this step by step. First, I'm gonna drag the image of me in here. Then I'll click in the top, click the up arrow to make it full screen. Click enter. Then I'll make sure I have the layer selected click on control J to duplicate it. And then I'll click on remove background. Again, if you don't have this and want to do it for free, just go to remove.bg. It works exactly the same. Then I drag this text that has a lot of effects on it. I recommend you stick to your own style and stay consistent because your audience will get to expect the same type of thumbnail from you. The thumbnail I'm making is for verbal AI. I'll drag it all the way across the top. I'll drag it below the top layer that has just me. And I see that the text is not exactly how I want it. So I'm going to go into the effect by double clicking the layer, change the glow a bit. And this is really just dragging the slider up and down, seeing what you like. I'm also going to do a tiny bit of a gradient overlay here from gray to black just like that at this point you can really do anything so let's do a time lapse here but stay for the important tip but of course find some uh, copyright free music on epidemic
All right, in a minute, I'm going to show you how to make him smile. But one of the biggest mistakes I see most creators do is to have an overcrowded background. And to fix that, we're going to go to the bottom layer here. I'll zoom, I'll select with the eclipse tool. I'll make sure to right click and do content aware fill. You could do generative fill as well, but it usually takes two minutes to load and there it's completely removed. Click OK, bring back the layers and you see it's a lot cleaner. But I have one secret trick, which is step number four, make me smile. And the reason you want to do that is Google is running your thumbnail through a vision AI that basically tells you that the face has a bunch of joy, sorrow, anger, surprise. So by having different emotions, even adult, spoof, medical, even racy, that may limit your potential in the YouTube algorithm. That's why I always like going with a smile. And the way I do it is I export the image by clicking file, export, quick export as PNG. Then I open it, I click on the share button and airdrop it to my phone. And then I open it in face app. I'll just select my face right here. And in the bottom, click on smiles, click on classic. And I'm not really sure I like this one. Maybe we'll click on wide, which is a lot better. Let's try closed as well, which I actually like a lot more. Let's click on three. Now let's do four. I save it and send it back to my computer again. So you now know how to create an entire thumbnail from scratch with AI. But making thumbnails is only one part of a multi-step process of making content. And if you're a content creator and have an info business where you sell advice and you want to implement AI into your business, I'm looking for a small group of people to help implement it into your business, your workflow and systems through agents and automations. So that sounds like you. Click the link in the description down below to join our waitlist. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.